Hello friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at Webpack 4's mode property. Uh, now this allows us to specify three values. We can have development or production or none. Um, the reason for this property, it kind of um, hopes to let us get away without having multiple configuration files. Um, so previously we would have maybe webpack.config.js for development and, uh, and another one for production and maybe um, you know you would use use one um, by specifying the the config file name um, and we might end up merging configs as well so we you know we ended up with multiple configuration files now with this mode the idea is that you know we can get rid of, the, of that in a lot of situations probably probably not all when it gets fairly complex but um, a lot of times, hopefully, we can get away with just a single config file. Um, so you can specify the mode um, either in the config file itself um, or with the Webpack CLI. We can specify dash dash mode uh, and one of those three values. Um, so let's let's jump in and have a look. Right, first thing I'll do is just create the source folder here, and we'll have. dummy bit of code so I'll just create um, a class just so we we'll use this file to look at the output that is generated um, with those three different values um, so we'll just give this some information here and we'll have a method Something. And just convert something to show it. Generating something. Okay, and then if we do a demo and call do something. Um, yeah, so just making sure. Um, we're actually using something in here because certainly when we get to the production one it might tree shake some of this code out unless we use it um, so okay there is uh, our demo code and we create our webpack.config.js okay so just a normal setup for this uh, we'll have a main which is in source and is index.js and then an output file name main and we'll put it into a dist folder so current directory and dist Right, okay, so there's a standard um, Webpack config. Um, uh, let's save that off. And if I pull that over there, and if we then just do a, we just do a, a, a Webpack build with no mode parameter set, we'll see what it gives us. Okay, so it's created the output. There's our outputted file. Um, as you can see, it's minimized here. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, so, and if we read this, it said, look, the mode property hasn't been set, and so it's gonna fall back to production. Um, so that is why we are seeing this minified code in here. Okay, so we you know we need to specify, otherwise we're going to get a production build by default. So let's firstly then specify the mode as development. And see what we get this time. Okay, as you can see, our main JS is 
very different and much more readable. Um, so all the boilerplate webpack module code is there and our class is wrapped in this eval statement down the bottom here um, and you can see some information um, around it. So let's have a look at what the development mode has done for us. Um, let's so if we run it um, again now with the mode none we'll see yet another different output so there's our three different um, outputs here so with none our class is very readable in here um, there's no eval statement there's no information about which file it's from and you can see a zero in here as well um, so we'll notice the differences here so there's the first three things to look at here for development are the code is not in a val there's no block saying where this file is from and our module id is zero here um, so what i'm going to try and do is just add um, the things that specify mode development add to your config for you to, to give this output so I'll just um, split this so we can see our config file okay one again there right so first thing then is the eval statement and the eval wrapping the, the code in eval is because of um, the source map setting so if we add dev tool in here and say eval um, it will generate source map for us so i'm going to run it uh, with this new entry dev tool uh, but with the no um, the mode non which means it won't apply any additional um, config for us so we can see that's changed again in here um, and we're back to the eval that we saw with development. So that's this line here is one of the things that specify and development adds for us. Um, okay, now the next thing um, is gonna be path info. And we can set that to true. Okay, so if I save that one off and we look here, we can see at the top, all we've got at the moment is no comments and a zero. Uh, and if I run this again now with path info, we'll see we get information about where this function came from. Um, so it's our source index.js. Okay, so that's the second thing development adds in for us. Um, third thing is this value would change from a zero, which doesn't mean very much, again to the um, name of the file. This is actually in optimization, optimization, um, and named modules. Okay, I think it's just the yeah, named modules true. So let's try that. Um, okay, so see if this changes the uh, zero. Okay, yep. Yeah. So now we're looking pretty much like when we specified mode development, we've got um, the module name is no longer a numeric value, it's the file itself. We've got path info, which gives us more information again, um, and we're using eval uh, for our source map. Okay, so um, there's a couple of other things that aren't visually noticeable that adding mode development does. It will add a cache of true, which um, speeds up our builds, just cache some of our builds. Um, and also it will add um, named, uh, named modules and named something else, named chunks, yes. So we won't be able to visualize that one, but these five things name chunks name modules path info dev tool and cache are what adding mode development give us 
Um, so let's just run that again with none. And we should see it just come out exactly the same. Right, so um, these um, additional config entries that are added when we specify mode development can be overridden by what we put in the file. So if I did actually say named modules false and um, dev tool none, then because I've got those specified, even if I do mode development, it will take my values. So you can see we're back more towards a, um, a, a mode of none here for this output. Um, so this shouldn't be confused with, uh, let me clear that off, um, if we do webpack minus D, this is not a shortcut for mode development. This applies similar um, defaults, but they're not overridable. Um, so if I run webpack minus D there, you can see even though I have specified dev tool none, it's actually overridden that with my my command line minus D and we're getting the eval again. Um, okay, so yeah, that's that's the, um, the, 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 the output that mode development gives us. Um, for production, if we do a production build one now, back dash dash mode production what we will see is our minified line of code up here um, so you know it's all in that but it's unreadable um, and and ready ready to be released um, now what does what does that add it adds it adds quite a few things a lot of them performance rating I think one of the main things it adds is you're going to get minimize um, in here um, and then and then quite a few other things if I jump on to um, let's go to github webpack we can have a quick look at what those Defaults would be if we go into Webpack, just maximize that, and then into lib, and all the way down the bottom, we can see Webpack Options Defaulter. So, in here, if I do a search for production, um, we can see it uses a helper function there, but we can still find each one. So here's the first thing it's setting it's setting the performance um, property and then it's setting performance hits and if we scroll down for a few of these um, so flagging a few chunks current order side effects used exports concatenate modules yeah that that's a quite important one. Concatenate and minimize in there. Um, no emits errors. Um, so if there's an error, it just won't output the package for you on that one. Minimize, which we, we showed. Um, setting up the node environment. Yeah, so uh, you know a few performance-related ones, um, but mainly minimize and concatenate modules is what's it, what it adds in. Um, I come out of there all right um, now you can actually specify this in your um, webpack config itself so we can actually just do mode and say development let's give it up Um, so yeah, not only on the command line, we can specify in here mode development, and then I just need to type webpack. Um, I'm going to get my development. Um, if I save it, I will get my development again. Okay. I need to take minimize out because. 
that will override. Okay, so now we're back to um, a readable, non-source um, mat, and with our modules being um, false, so we just get numeric, and our path info being true. You know, so we can take all of that out now, because that is set up, um, that one is set up. We'll go back to eval, uh, we don't need the optimizations. So we just say mode development in there and kick it off. We should see um, pretty much the same, but with the eval statement, I keep on forgetting to save it. Oops. off okay and there we go back to there so i hope that's been uh, helpful um thanks very much bye